Hello. This is going to be an abbreviated version. We this had is... already attempted a video, but it kind of got chaotic, out of mm -hmm. control, five minutes in, and we were like, we never got to the topic, so. He had a meltdown. <laughs> Ted had a meltdown. I didn't have a meltdown. Just, I was just. No, you're fine. Um, um, so what'd you do today? So we had a good day. We, um, woo, oh, we have a glow in the dark pacifier. Yeah, I just saw it glow in the dark. Game right changer. It probably is giving our kid radiation, but <laughs> don't care. Well, it's actually made in Denmark, it's, I think. It's, Anyway. Well, don't have radiation dimmer. He's going to grow like another eye, like right there in the middle of his forehead. He's not going to have. So, uh, so yeah, today we had a great day. Um, he got to nap. So, these are his mm -hmm. last couple of days before he starts work. And um, I wanted to, I wanted him to do everything that he wanted to do, whether it's sleeping, relax, do nothing, um, whatever. And that's very sweet of you. Thank you for letting me do that. Yeah, and so at least pet, it's kind of fun because on Wednesday, I think it was, no, Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was Tuesday, I was just like, hey, you know, you only have three more days of, you know, not working. What would you like to do? It's your choice. So one day we sat out by the pool all day, and then yesterday it was raining all day, so we kind of just stayed inside and did a lot of projects inside. And then last night we did some, a little bit of, did we do planting last night? I think we started planting today, but mm -hmm. um, planting, you know, plants, I guess. So. And we realized our soil is made out of a oh. mixture of clay and concrete. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> terrible. To put a and then through that. it took us like an hour to dig out this old uh, Japanese maple root. It was crazy. So yeah, this is amazing. We may have to do a take three. <laughs> well, so. look, mommy's magic. <laughs> uh, and also, you went and you took some cookies to some oh, of the yeah. neighbors. We, Solomon and me mm -hmm. and Lincoln, we all went and delivered. You made the cookies, they were gluten free. And dairy free. Dairy free, and I haven't had one, but I'm gonna say that they're probably gonna be very flavorful. They're really good, it has oatmeal in it. Oh, that's, I forgot to tell um, our neighbor that, but it uh, has oatmeal in it and um, uh, coconut, coconut and dried fruit. It's really good. And it's got gluten-free almond or gluten-free There flour. are some dishes that you make that are gluten-free that I swear are better than gluten-filled. The banana bread. Banana bread. And I bought some banana. What do, do you do? Do you something, do something with the meatloaf? Maybe no. not. No. Oh, it's the crust that I make for like pumpkin pie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I make gluten-free pumpkin pie. Yep. And then what about the strawberry surprise? All that. Anyway. Yeah. So... so um, and then I'm totally stoked because later this afternoon, what's going to happen? Oh, the Impossible Burger. Is going to make an appearance in, in briefly oh, in my hands and then it's going to be in my belly. Yeah. So, um, and I did not want to do, do that because I didn't know if there was dairy in it. And then I felt like we have a veggie burger here, so I'm going to have that. But anyway, we're just kind of We're really going like to try. I'm going to try her veggie burger. I'm going to try my Impossible Burger. Oh. Yeah. And I will report back. Okay. Yep. So, um, ironically, the topic tonight is on marriage because we haven't done that one yet. And I was just like, how have we not have done that one? So, um, there's been a verse that been kind of in the back of my mind. And he kind of had something in the back of his mind. And we found a verse that actually combined our thoughts together. So, it's kind of cool. Well, you were reading certain verses and yeah. I was like putting stuff away in the house and and I was like, ooh, I like that one. And then you were like, well, I want to read another verse. And yeah. You, and then you and popped then, it open, and it was just an extension of the verse that I liked. So yeah. I was like, okay, well, we'll just read all three of them. Boom. So it was all super done. cool. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to share some, like, books and resources for you guys. Um, if you – I know being in this pandemic and COVID and um, quarantine and stuff, it's probably hard on a lot of relationships. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to talk about it, um, because it is tough. Like, we've had our tough days, and um, we've had our good days. So, I think the important thing is, you know, love, obviously, is a big thing between your relationships. So, you know, loving one another and also being respectful, which is very hard to do when you're frustrated with one another. Um, so, what, um, did I, I, what did I tell you? I said that. Uh, divorces are at uh, all-time oh. high, and the number of marriages are at an all-time all low. low. 
which is it's, interesting. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Well, I mean, the marriages but, make sense, you know, because it's yeah. it's kind of one of those things you you want a bunch of people to come to your wedding. Yeah. And with COVID nineteen, probably not going to happen. So yeah, and a lot of people like our photographer that we had with him. Um, she's really great. She travels the world and does weddings, and um, she's done like some micro weddings or something where they go and take pictures of the bride and groom, and they're all dressed up and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think. It's image clarity. I'll put that in our description, but she's got some really great photos. And if you just want some... Of course, she had like a green screen. Yeah. Mine, like, I know. We went to Bora Bora. But she's got like some really good photos where she just took pictures of the couple during this, you know, quarantine time or whatever. Um, and some people are doing that because they can stay their distance. So um, they can still take the photos. Um, so other resources are like books that we've done together. We've done sacred marriage. Mm -hmm. We actually, before we got engaged, we wanted to do pre-engagement counseling mm -hmm. instead of premarital because for us being engaged was a big commitment. Mm -hmm. Um, we didn't feel like, why would you get engaged? And if you find out it didn't work and then you, you know, like you find the ring and all that kind of stuff. So it was too much of a commitment for us. So we actually did, uh, pre-engagement counseling mm -hmm. together. I felt like it was really helpful too. It was really helpful. Yeah. So um, we did that and... Um, we did uh, love languages. Love languages yes. together. Did There's that a book, book on that. It was good. Yeah. And... Um, of all the books, that's I think the only ones I really remember. Yeah. the love language book. Oh, and the other one that we did in the beginning of our marriage, which really wasn't probably too helpful for us, is Fireproof. There's like a book on fireproof, okay. and it gives yeah, you yeah. like all these activities to do. It actually makes it fun. Mm -hmm. It's like a game. Um, so if you want to check that out, we'll provide all that in our description just so you guys, if anybody is um, maybe having trouble right now and they need to be creative, you know, that's a really good book. And um, it mm -hmm. has scripture with it as well. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's also a good. movie called Fireproof. So it kind of goes with that movie. It's really good. Now, it's like a 40 day. You can't skip the book and just watch the movie because it's <laughs> different. Okay. It's different. Yeah. Not that I've ever tried that, <laughs> but just saying. <laughs> yeah. So, our biggest thing tonight was to encourage um, people that are in relationships or married or whatever. If you feel like you're um, kind of struggling a little bit, maybe seek out some mentorship or mm -hmm. um, just talk to someone that you trust. Um, obviously you don't want to talk or a counselor to... at your church. Yeah. A counselor at your church is really good too. Um, and then the other thing too, like some churches offer marriage classes. We actually did that at our church mm -hmm. uh, when we first moved to St. Louis. So, and you know, the class wasn't for people that are, you know, having issues with their yeah. marriage. I mean, it, it could be, yeah. but it was more for, you know, let's dust up some things. Let's, let's kind of, uh, go through a few, um, a few ideas and techniques yeah. that the Bible talks about for making mm -hmm. a better, better marriage. And, yeah. Uh, so it was, it was really cool. It was good. Yeah, it was really good. Um, and again, like he said, uh, we just want to point out that even though you're not having issues, it's always good to keep in touch with each other, like, and seeing, and, you know, even if you're not having issues, just to do some of these things just for fun, mm -hmm. um, to keep up the, to keep the wheels going and the but love we do that burning. Too. I mean, we, Gosh, yeah. we could talk forever some things that we try, and I'm sure yeah. a lot of people do the same thing, which is when we first had Solomon and, and even before when Tiff was pregnant, we had a conversation that, you know, all too often the kids are put first uh, in the mm -hmm. family, and, and it shouldn't really be that way. It should be, um, you know, God first, and then your relationship with one another, mm -hmm. uh, and then the child, and and so, and, and by doing it that way, the child will grow healthy and, yeah. and, uh, um, be like they should, you know, I mean, w once they see healthy re relationships, they will know how to have a, a healthy yeah, relationship. Yeah, I forgot about that. So. We did have that conversation when we got pregnant. Um, and then for those of you that are pregnant or maybe, you know, thinking about getting pregnant or whatever, um, what we did was we did everything we could together before <laughs> oh, man. We, we had like five vacations. <laughs> we went on year. long weekend trips. Um, yeah. We like, I think we even had a spa day. Mm -hmm. and, like yeah, it was just, cool. You know, and even being at home, like even if you don't go out and, you know, some of these things, you know, require you to spend money, obviously. But like during COVID, it's kind of hard to do. But you can still have your date nights and things that you enjoy to do together. Like there's sometimes we just soak in the tub together. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to go to a spa 
We actually had a spa day yesterday here. Mm -hmm. We did. We <laughs> Just um, and swimming. It was, it was so fun. Was it yesterday we went swimming? The day, the day before yesterday. But yeah. yesterday we did, it was raining all day, so we kind of did like Lunch indoor day. stuff. But yeah. So that was really fun. Um, but yeah, we just really encourage you to uh, just keep in touch with each other. And, and the other thing, number two, is having God in your relationship, in your life. Mm -hmm. um, having that really strengthens the bond um, between the two of you. And having that relationship, your personal relationship with God, too, makes a big difference. Communicate so, with one another. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why this verse tonight that we're going to read is, um, it goes all, like, all kind of... Now, by the way, I'm not saying our marriage is perfect. You can tell no. from these videos. <laughs> it's not. You could tell, like... It's totally not. Some of but, our friends were like, oh, you look like you're Are you guys going to kill one another today? Strangle him. <laughs> there were times I wanted Probably, to strangle him. Yeah. yeah. So... I, and that's the other thing. I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to mention it's not always peaches and cream. So, yeah, um, yeah just be realistic when it comes to, like, being married and, you know, if you're newlywed or going to be newlyweds or whatever, just know that, you know, it's a long, long haul together. And think about, you know, how can you make it stay together? Right. That kind of thing. So, we're going to read Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Um, and I'll read it since you're holding them. Yeah. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm? Keep warm him. That doesn't make sense. Keep warm alone. <laughs> and though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. So basically a strand of three cords cannot easily be broken because you've got your spouse, you've got you, yourself, and you have God. And so that is what keeps the bond together. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like God is the glue Right. That keeps the coil together. Right. Well, you have um, to work together because if those strands are going the opposite direction, then it they, comes they're unraveled. not strong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, but I think, again, comes back to communication and, um, gosh, and there's sometimes winter. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this talks about encouragement, too, because you can't get through some of this stuff alone. There's no way. Like... Like I was saying, you can't keep your body warm alone. It takes mm -hmm. two people to keep your body warm if you're out in the cold and, you know, threatening condition. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, if you're struggling and you're falling, someone else can help you up. I mean, that's the same thing as like friendships and, um, you know, support systems. So if you um, are having a hard time, you know, you need that support. Yes. So, and it's always... And don't be afraid to, to seek it out. You know? Yeah. I guess that's the biggest thing. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. It goes back to having uh, friends that you can trust, yeah. that you can confide in. That helps too, you know. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, okay. Hey, big boy. He... Are you over it? Yeah. Let me, let me get his little toy and then we can pray. Okay? All right. All right. And then I'll let you say prayer. Okay. I'll hold him before you break your neck. All right, guys, thank you for listening. We're going to say a prayer real quick before we go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you've given us. Uh, we pray that you continuously uh, help those that are in need and that you um, give us the knowledge that we need to find a cure for COVID-19. And Lord, we pray that we just feel your presence uh, whenever we're uh, stuck in, in the house alone or or whenever uh, we're kind of at rock bottom, we pray that you just reveal yourself to us so that we can, you can help us, uh, pull us out of that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> I had to cut that one short. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for our last one. 14 and hopefully minutes. it'll be a great one. Well, maybe it's not our last one. Maybe we'll have we, a little bit. We're not making any promises. Yeah, we can't make any promises. Yeah. So. All right. All right, Peace. bye.